investigation tonight on yesterday's deadly Southside scrapyard explosion. Police say 46 year old Daniel Wright was working at a scrapyard when he cut into a military bomb that took his life. Well, today authorities continue to investigate where it came from. Now, your size, Jennifer De La Cruz, has the latest developments. A ticking time bomb waiting to explode. Tucson police say an MK-82, similar to this one, sat in the scrapyard at Tucson Iron and Metal. That bomb partially exploding when employee Daniel Wright cut into it Wednesday afternoon. The blast so big, it took his life. Tucson police, along with firefighters, bomb squad units, and help from DN airmen, cleared the undetonated portion from the yard. Tonight, the investigation turns to finding out where the bomb came from. Nine on your side reached out to a different scrapyard who says recycling centers generally inspect every item that gets dropped off. Every car, every truck then come to the place after we weigh it and then, and then we, we check the material. The material got dumped to the, to the ground so we can see what is in the, in, in, in the truck. You basically can see what is in the top, but you have to dump it to see what is in in the whole law. The owner adds it's usually easy to track down where it came from. We get the information about uh, about, about you, we get the information about about whatever you're driving, and, and then we get the information about the material you bring. Senator John McCain calling on the Secretary of Defense for a federal investigation. He released this statement today. It is imperative for the Department of Defense to explain how this unexploded ordinance made its way into a civilian place of business. Wright leaves behind two daughters, Courtney and Brittany. Brittany started a GoFundMe page so she can make it back to Tucson for the funeral. Tucson Iron and Metal remains closed until officials can determine there are no similar items in the yard. If you are interested in making a donation, there's a link on our website at kega9.com. In the newsroom, Jennifer Dela Cruz, Kega 9 on your side. Thank you, Jennifer.